as May draws to a close, 7 News wants to make sure you're making your emotional well-being a priority this Mental Health Awareness Month. And here to help us do that today is psychologist Dr. Nicole Cutts. She is the founder of Vision Quest Retreats and CEO of Cutts Consulting. It's great to have you here today. Great to be here. I feel like we all need your advice now more than ever. It's It's been a tough few years yeah. and people's mental health has really taken center stage. Yeah. Um, I know we don't have as much time as we would like to mm -hmm. go through, but you have some pretty simple steps that you say is a good starting place for everyone. Yeah, you know, it's, it's a checklist to take a look at your mental health. So, you know, the recommendation is to try to brighten your outlook, okay. to reduce your stress, to get quality sleep. Um, you know, be mindful in general, like try to be present, like we were just talking about. Mm -hmm. um, cope with losses in a healthy way. And also to expand your social connections and of course in a healthy way. And there's one more tip that I wanted to add, which is to be of service. Uh -huh. You know, it, it's really helpful to elevate your mood and your mental health when you look outside yourself and you put some focus on, on other people as well. Right, to get out of your own yeah. problems. So yeah. let's start from the beginning and the mm -hmm. first one you said was to brighten your outlook and yeah. I would imagine that means to think about gratitude. Yeah, think about gratitude. Um, you know, you can tell any story about any situation. So be mindful of your uh, negative thinking and try to reframe things in a positive way. Fo like you said, focus on what you're grateful for. Okay. So, yeah. And our second one, reduce stress. And I guess <laughs> that's different for everyone maybe. Is some yes. people it's workout, some people it's take a walk in nature. Yeah, it, it's different for everybody, but everybody should have something. And you know, and in a lot of these tips, get exercise is is in all of them mm -hmm. you know so that's a really good one for mind and body um, and again healthy coping mechanisms to reduce stress some people might say well I have a glass of wine well you know it's better to do meditation or yoga or something like that than to imbibe alcohol right <laughs> um, sleep I mean that's something elusive mm. to so yeah. many people and when we say to get quality sleep uh, is that different for everyone or is there a standard we should aim for? You know, they always say, you know, eight hours, but it is different for different people. Um, okay. The important thing is to try to be consistent. So try to go to bed at the same time, wake up at the same time, relax before you get to bed so that you can sleep easier when you actually do get to bed. So we mentioned the mindful piece mm, of this mm -hmm. and I know yeah. this is terminology that's much more mm -hmm. common these days yes. and you touched on meditation, yoga, what is, for somebody who doesn't really know what it is to be mindful, what does that mean? It means to be fully in the present. You know, and one way that I think about it is tuning into all of your senses so that you're fully in the present. It's too easy for us to, to zone out and be up in our minds. Mm -hmm. So to look at where you are, to feel where you are, to just be fully in the present. Um, eating mindfully can help. That's a good exercise, like eating slowly and mindfully. And, and a lot of the mindful work has to do with breath work too, right? And really mm -hmm. tuning into your your breathing. Yes, that's another great practice is to just pay attention to your breath. You know, you can do something as simple as inhaling for a count of four and exhaling for a count of four. That right there is going to help you to be more mindful. And breathing, I always recommend. <laughs> <laughs> kind of have to, right? Yeah. <laughs> and just the last two before we let you go, mm -hmm. you mentioned coping uh, with loss yeah. and in a, in a really mindful way, mm -hmm. right? Not yeah. just burying it. Yeah, coping with loss, not trying to avoid it. We do try to avoid negative feelings, but that does not actually help. That's going to compound the problem. Um, so that could mean joining a support group. It could mean spending more time with family and friends. It could mean taking a little break from work, but you know, giving yourself time. And grief looks different for everybody. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for these really helpful, this checklist that we can all look at and at least try to pay attention to a few of yeah. them every day. Yes. Thank you, doctor. Sure, we my really pleasure. appreciate it. And coming up here on 7 News at Noon, really a pretty pleasant day outside, but on the cool side, meteorologist Brian Vandegraaff will be back to talk about the warmer days ahead. Don't go away.